In uh, this video, I'm going to review how to do synthetic division of polynomials. Um, I'll go through this step by step. There's a few key things with synthetic division that you have to remember, but in general, it's pretty easy. First thing we do is we got to worry about the setup here. So as far as the setup, we're going to start with a number that we're going to have in the box. So to figure out what goes in the box is actually what you're dividing by. So we're dividing by x plus 3, but to figure out what goes into the box, we're going to take x plus 3, set it equal to 0, and we're going to solve that. So if you have x plus 3 is equal to 0, you solve, you get x is negative 3. So that number is what we're going to start with in the box. So I've used this piece. The other piece we need to use is what we're dividing by. Now if you notice, we go from x cubed to x to our constant. We don't have our x squared. What I'm going to do is, I'm only going to do this the first time just so you can kind of see how it works. You don't need to do this every time with synthetic division. But I'm going to write out my complete polynomial there, including the x squared. So we have a 2x cubed. Since I don't have an x squared, that's like 0x squared minus x minus 7. So I put it in standard form to show I have x cubed, x squared, x, and then my constant. So I want to make sure I show all my terms. This is going to be very, very important, the most common mistake with synthetic division. Next, what I'm going to take is I'm going to write a row of numbers here. Now these numbers, all they are going to be is all the constants of the standard form of my polynomial. So I start with a 2, because the 2x cubed, and then that 0, which is, again, very, very important to make sure you have that, and then a negative 1, because that's a negative x, that's like negative 1, and then negative 7. All right, and there's two important things to remember with synthetic division on how to do this. The first is remember that we are going to add down and then the second we're going to multiply up. And I'll, I'll show you what that means here in a second. So anytime we're going to work out, we're going to find a whole list of numbers here and list of numbers here. First thing we're always going to do is you start with adding down. So we're going to add straight down. So 2 plus nothing is 2. So I went down this column. Next thing I need to do is I need to multiply up. So we're going to go down, we're going to go diagonal up, down, diagonal up, down, diagonal up, down. To go up, we're going to multiply up. So we're going to take this 2 and multiply it by negative 3. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So we add down, multiply it up. And we're going to repeat this process until we get through the entire row there. So again, we add down. 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. And then we got to multiply to go back up. So I'm going to take negative 6 times negative 3, which is 18. Keep going. We're going to add straight down. Negative 1 plus 18 is 17. And then we have to multiply back up one more time. 17 times negative 3 is negative 51. And then add straight down. Negative 1 plus uh, negative 51 is negative 58. Now you're probably looking at these numbers wondering, what in the world does that all mean? Well, it's going to be pretty easy here. The final number, and you know to stop once we run out of numbers. There's no more numbers after this negative 7. So that's how we know we're done. But what's going to happen is that last number that you create down there, that is your remainder. So for my answer, I know my remainder is negative 58. And then after that, we know these are all going to be coefficients of our answer. So you kind of, kind of work your way back up. So 17 plus 17, that's going to be your constant. 
After your constant, you get your first x values. So we're going to get negative 6x, which makes that 2x squared. Another way that you can know, all right, well, is this going to be 2x cubed, 2x to the fourth, 2x squared, 2x, is if we started with an x cubed, this is always going to be one power left. So if this is x cubed, that's going to be x squared. If this is x squared, that's x. If this is x, this is your constant, there's your remainder. So our answer there is 2x squared minus 6x plus 17 with a remainder of negative 58. And again, your remainder is always going to be that final number that you have there. Everything else is also your answer too. And that is synthetic division.